Let's get this started. Fantastic. All right. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Throw it in the chat where you're coming from. We've got a special evening ahead of us. All right. Don't be shy. There Vermont. we go. Vermont there we go. in the house. Vermont was the first one. Look at that. Yes. Mississippi, PA. Vegas, I wish I was there with you, Len. I wish we were gambling <laughs> together. I, I'm with you, Matt. Seat. Virginia, Goldsboro, good, good. Sydney, yeah. Australia, always get, we always have Australia love. In it's that. true, it's true. I love it. I love this global, global family we've got. More from, yeah, some more coming in from Australia. Great, yeah. PA, and Texas, Texas been there Maryland. forever. This is great. Time is it in Australia? I think they're about if they're in Sydney, Melbourne area, they're about 16 hours ahead. Wild. Columbus, Ohio. San Jose. I was I I missed this. I missed the California on the, the California weather. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyone from Asia? Singapore, love it. Here we go. Yeah, more Asia Pacific coming in. Fantastic. We got some people joining us from Facebook as well. We're streaming live on Facebook with Poughkeepsie, New York. We got Phoenix. Hey, Nancy. Good to see you. It was great to see you this weekend as well. All right. Well, fantastic. We want to welcome everyone to our social media series. This is week three of a series, and I encourage you to reach back out to our other our recordings and replays. Those are available on our YouTube channel as well as your learning center in your unfranchised.com. Uh, we have a fun evening planned for you this evening. We've got some top unfranchise owners that are going to share their tips and tricks. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to tonight, Steve, aren't you? I mean, I really am. I mean, we got a great all-star cast, you know, panel that's going to be with us here today. I mean, you know, these were these were individuals who Jason and I follow, who we've been watching what they do on social media. And we know that you guys are going to be able to learn a lot from just the tips and tricks that they do, you know, in building their brand on social media, specifically Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, I love it. I know we've got uh, Calvin Demetrius, uh, Cliff Hare, Alexander Cummings, Molly Stone Bibb, um, a wide variety of um, social media, I would say, gurus or experts. You know, they've been doing social media uh, to grow their business for a long time. We've got, um, you know, some cross-generational things here. So it goes to show you that anyone can succeed with social media, and I'm looking forward to hearing what they have to share with us. Um, Steve, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you because I know you've got a couple things that you want to share with us first. Yeah, I kind of want to just set the stage a little bit before we get into this firehouse, the fireside chat. You know, what big thing is is to remember is is that you are your brand. When people come into this business. They don't come in because of any of the corporate team, because of Mark in America or shop.com. They be come in because they believe in you. And that's what it all starts with. But it starts with what's on your Facebook and your Instagram profile. You know, sometimes you got to look at your, at your profile and say, would I follow me? And you have to, you know, laugh about it sometimes because, you know, th there's things that you put on there that just aren't the most, you know, savvy things to do. You know, it's almost like you're, tr you're, tr you're trial running on your own Facebook page. And that's not necessarily the right thing to always do. You know, so let's talk about a few little steps that were that, you know, that will help you when it comes to building that brand, building that profile. You know, first thing is look at your profile pic. You know, are you smiling? You know, th simple things as, do you have a quality picture? You know, I can't, you know, sometimes you get these low resolution pictures that you try to upload and everybody's trying to, trying to see it and all they see is pixelation. Make sure that they get to connect with you as the person. Or the picture what of their dog, your, right, Steve? Your content and your bio. <laughs> Go ahead, Jason. Is it, or, the, or the picture of their dog or their cat, right? Exactly. Like, you know, they're not buying the avatar, they're buying the person, you know, your content and your bio, are they aligned? 
you know, does it really set crystal clear who you are, what you're about, what areas are you focused in? If they're not, and if your content isn't talking to what your bio is saying, people don't know what to, what to think of you. You're not going to attract what's the most important thing is not the people we know, but it's the people that are going to find you on social media, the hundreds of millions of people that are looking for health experts, that are looking for people in the skin and beauty, people that are just looking for a couple hundred, extra hundred dollars that just are saying to themselves, what, what are you doing? Because I love seeing the lifestyle that you live, Alex. And so therefore, so it becomes something great like that. You know, when someone hits your page, it should slap them silly um, to let them know what you're about. And if it's not, you have to recreate your profile and recreate your page. If you be, if not, you, um, you, you have to become a master in your area and create content and, um, uh, content around it in order to make you the brand they trust. And before you can even try to sell them a product, you have to earn that trust. You have to earn that, you know, that that know-how. You can't expect someone just because they see you on social media to trust you instantly. Doesn't happen in real life. It surely doesn't happen behind a keyboard. You must educate your audience. You must empower them. And then you must entertain them with your content. So I call it the big three E's. Empower, educate, entertain with every piece of content that you're creating. It should do one of those three items. You have to give them value before you can give them an offering. Think about what, think about that. You can't just expect you to throw out a OP, a pro, an OPC3 or a core three health product and expect everybody to bite. You have to get, you have to create the value in what they're looking for. And then you can provide them the offering on direct message, not inside of chat, not inside of social media. You want to do it in direct messaging so that you can make it a personal experience. You know, this is what, you know, it's amazing what happens when people get behind a keyboard. You know, it's like, it's like they go from when they first come in this business they're either reserve or they're, you know, they're questioning things because they're trying to educate themselves. They're learning a lot. And then all of a sudden, because they're on social media and they're hidden behind a keyboard, all of a sudden they become the salesperson who won't accept no, who's so pushy. And all of a sudden they, they distract people and they wonder why they can't sell anything on social media. You know, think about this. You have the cookie in our business, whether it's the great products we have, whether it's the business, uh, whether it's our amazing business opportunity, et cetera. You have the cookie. Don't beg anybody to be a part of that. Be confident, be assertive with what you're going to do. You know, the what, what I always say to myself is, um, I ask myself this every single time when I'm posting a content about the business. I say, why did I want to be an unfranchised owner on day one? Then I think to myself, why did I want to be a health coach or a skin coach or a beauty coach or just someone who was just looking for a couple hundred extra dollars to pay off a few bills? And then if I think about that, it's going to drive the content that I create because I'm going to remember what interested me at that point. What were the trigger words? What were the trigger points? What is the pain points then that got me to owning up my own unfranchised business? And how can I relate that content into building the brand that I have on social media? You know, each one of our guests is here, you know, because they are successful in, in building relationships and creating content that sells. And that's why we asked the team here today to share some of their input, to share some of their great ideas, you know, and what's successful for them so that it becomes truly a success for everybody on here. Now, at events, we all know them. It's the Team Flush Adelphia over in the corner. 
It's the it's the it's the team that if you're a part of it, you're happy that you're on it. It's the and if you're not on it, you feel like at times at the event you're on it. And then when you're not on it, you wish you were on it. You know, Team Flush Adelphia. And um, you know, we have our we have our, our first guest speaker, an individual who's a rising star on Team Flush Adelphia in this company. And um, you know, when I look at his content, man, it it screams home, you know, product. He is a product of the product, whether it's showcasing the product, um, you know, you know, and talking about it on his social media, whether it's showing the six pack of abs that's underneath and selling the product, you know, from it, or whether it's just team building. You know, showing him and his team working together in collaboration. Who doesn't want to be a part of a community where there's collaboration and team building? So, Calvin, why don't you lead us off and tell us a little bit about your success stories without the six pack of apps? Well, well, first and foremost, you know, uh, thank you so much for the opportunity. And it's all thanks to the products. Like, I can't, I, I really can't take, you know, um, any, uh, you know, any of the credit, because, you know, when you take these amazing products, I know we always talk about uh, losing weight. However, you know, um, a lot of people are also looking to build lean muscle. So, you know, uh, the products have really helped, you know, uh, drastically reduce, you know, uh, my body fat percentage. But, you know, with, with that being said, thank you, everyone, uh, for the opportunity. Very excited to share. I'm among some, you know, really great people. You know, when I saw some people hopping on, I was like, man, you know, I, I'm I'm just blessed to be a part of it. But, you know, I'm going to share my screen and let's hop into it, you know. And uh, like Steve was saying, like Jason was saying, we're going to have a lot of fun today. You know, you're going to hear not only from myself, but from amazing partners, you know, in different industry, well, who focus on, you know, social media in different ways. And then the best thing to take away is be yourself, right? So leveraging social media. So first and foremost, who am I? You know, my name is Calvin. I'm from Spring Valley, New York. I have a background working for nonprofits for the youth in the city. However, the higher that I went up the corporate ladder, the further that they moved me away from the youth that I joined on to help. So my cousin Steve introduced me to the business because I realized that volunteering, I was making much more of an impact in my community. So like, that's kind of me in a nutshell. So guess what? On social media, that's who I show up as, right? So uh, first and foremost, you know, um, like like Steve was saying, you know, feel free to, you know, also follow me on Instagram. That is, you know, uh, my my main platform of choice. And you know, first and foremost, you know, like he was saying for your profile, you know, um, I, you know, make sure that your bio is something that people could relate to. You know, mine, I'm still kind of adjusting, but there's one thing that I always keep. Right. One that I'm from New York and then also that I'm Haitian. Right. And the reason being is because now, especially if you've been in the business for a few years and your hot and warm market is starting to dwindle a little bit and you're reaching out to cold market, people are going to ask, why are you reaching out to me? So now when I'm reaching out to someone else who's Haitian, they see the flag in the bio. When I'm reaching out to somebody in New York, because we're also building locally, you know, now they know to respond. And then also, first things first, people are going to ask, especially if you're reaching out to cold market, who are you? So guess what? My very first pin post is who am I, right? And um, it's an amazing segment where I had, you know, uh, the pleasure of speaking at a major event where I was able to share my story. Right. So now when I'm reaching out to someone cold market, they hear my two minute commercial. That's the first video on my social media page is that two minute commercial that I just shared with you. So now when they're responding, they have an idea of who I am already. And then, you know, like Steve also mentioned, the products have had amazing benefits, amazing results in my life. So now when I'm reaching out to someone and I'm speaking about products or I'm asking them about their health and wellness routine, they can go on my page and they can see, okay, he's had success, you know, um, somewhat success, you know, in fitness. And then also, you know, um, I had an amazing opportunity. And this is why you come to events where I had an amazing opportunity with my cousin Steve, where we were able to speak with Fat Joe backstage. So, you know, that's pinned to my page, right? So now... Before people respond to you, they want to know who you are, 
right? So now just with my pin messages alone, I want to start to build a connection, right? So that's before, you know, they even read anything about me. They're already getting a better idea, right? But here's how some ways that I use social media to grow my business. So posting consistently on multiple platforms to pique curiosity and get people to ask, what do you do? right? Not only for hot and warm market, but for cold market too, right? So one of the things that we do is we repurpose content. So the same post that I post on Instagram is going on Facebook, it's going on Snapchat, it's going on Twitter, it's going on threads, and it's going on TikTok. And the reason being is because of the algorithm, you don't always get the top of everyone on Instagram, so you know what? I was like, guess what? If you don't see me on Instagram, maybe you'll see me on Facebook. If you don't see me on Facebook, maybe you'll see me on Twitter. If you don't see me on Twitter, maybe you'll see me on Threads. If you don't see me on Threads, maybe you'll see me on Snapchat, right? Because you want to stay at the top of people's mind. They want, people are very curious. They want to know what you're doing. So now when you're reaching out to someone, they're already peaked because they, they've been watching you on social media. I can't tell you how many times I've reached out to people and they're like, you know what? I've been wondering what you were doing. So now it makes booking the exposure that much easier, right? So that's, you know, one way. And then the next, just like what Steve was saying, using IG and Facebook stories, not only to sell products, but to keep current customers engaged. So every day I challenge myself just to post something about products, right? So now every single day, people see you posting products. Hey, what is that? I've had people reach out and be like, hey, I've been seeing you take those vitamins. What are those? And then on top of that, even when you're reaching out to other people and they're taking vitamins on their page and you ask them about their product regimen, they'll come back and say, yeah, and I've been curious about yours as well. So even if they're not responding, they're always watching. But then also another key tip, keeping current customers engaged. Because a lot of times, at least for me, my customers, they also follow me on social media. So guess what? When, they're see, when they see me taking my daily essentials, guess what that does? That reminds them to take their daily essentials. But then on top of that, what about when they see me taking a product that they're not already taking? They're going to reach back out and say, hey, what is that? So now, not only are you able to engage and sell to new customers, but your current customers, you get to keep them engaged and make sure that they also see you taking the products every single day, encouraging them to take the products every day. And as you know, with our products, if you take those daily, you will get results, right? And then number three, so posting about what the team is doing. This is the biggest thing, right? Whether it's in-person product parties, new sponsorships, right? It helps keep the funnel engaged. If you have prospects who maybe are on follow-up, right? You know, where they may not be the easiest to reach all the time, even if they're not responding to your messages, they're watching you on social media. They're watching you have product parties with other members of the team, especially at major events. They see you having a great time. They see you engaging with your team. And everyone, I want you to know, this is your superpower. In business, you always want to know, what, how, what, 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 how do I stand out from the crowd? Especially with an online business, any guru, they're talking about auto, auto, automation and how, how click funnels and how to build a business without seeing a person, without touching a heart. Whereas with Market America, we're doing the opposite. We're bringing people together. People are more isolated than ever before. So now when they come on my page, they're always seeing me with my team. They're always seeing us together. They're always seeing us grow. It's never only about you, but you, what you want to do is you also want to showcase your team, show the fun you're having. That piques interest more than trying to be another guru where you're just talking about, hey, you know, make a ton of money, make it to everyone saying that. But how many people are saying, come together as a family? How many people are saying, build meaningful relationships, create personal development? Here's a book regimen. 
that is our superpower, you know? So do not take that for granted. And remember, they may not always respond, but they are also watching. And then also a tip for everyone is remember to be yourself. You know, a lot of people hop on social media and they're like, okay, let me, I, I need to pretend to fit in. But guess what? People are tired of that. You know, just because you started the business doesn't mean you need to start taking pictures in front of Lamborghinis and mansions to be able to, you know, peak interest. Instead, be yourself. Focus on top three categories that resonate the most with you. So for me, it's the, it's my team. You're always seeing me with a group of people. We're always smiling. We're always enjoying each other. We're always helping each other grow. Activism. I love to volunteer. I love giving back to my community. I love fighting for the underdogs, right? And then motivation, right? You know, I like to keep people inspired. You know, I believe that every individual is a blessing, right? So what I want to do is when you hop on my page, I want to remind you of your greatness, remind you of your potential, remind you that you are here to do great things. But then also, like Steve was saying, now, because you're on my page and you're seeing all the positivity I've been pouring into you, you see the team, you see how we've been growing, you see all the great things that we've been doing. So now when I reach out to you, you're open to taking a look and hopping on an exposure and seeing this amazing business that's Mark in America. So, you know, thank you so much for the opportunity to share. And I hope that was helpful. That was great, Calvin. Way, you know, just so much information in such a short period of time. But I mean, really hit the bullseye. I appreciate you being on this. Yeah, so many great tips. I mean, I, you know, I call them writer downers. I'm I'm jotting down notes. The chat is blowing up. We got Facebook blowing up as well. So many great things. Um, certainly gonna have to watch these replays, folks, and and take down these notes and, and put them into action. So thank you so much, Calvin. Our next individual um, has been in the industry for multiple decades, and she's coming to the scene with Mark in America and, and really creating a wave. She's done some incredible things, took a sneak peek at her social media when she came on board, and I fell in love. Um, someone who really displays their true, authentic self and doing such an incredible job. Love what you're doing, Molly. Please introduce yourself. Molly Stone Biff. Uh -huh. Let's Thanks, go, everybody. Molly. Calvin, when I see you, I'm going to give you a big hug. Oh, my gosh. You are so spot on. Like, I'm like trying not to go, yes, 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 but wanting to. You are just so spot on. And I'm here thinking, you know what? I know there are people on here looking at him saying, I can't. You know, I, I can't do what he does. Look, he's young. He's this. He's a, look at his muscles. Look at his six pack. He just knows how to do this. Listen. He had to start from the very first post too, okay? Let's not forget this. I am going to be 61 years old this year. And I have to, number one, I've never felt better just, and, and I've only been in this business three months, three months. And I have to tell you that you all are just, y'all look the same, healthy, excited, energy. And who wouldn't say, I want some of that. I want some of that going on. That is what I see here. And then following, I just started following Cliff. And today I went through Calvin. I was stalking him. Now, Alex, I've been stalking her for about a month now. So I knew what she was all about. And Steve, I, I met Steve and I met Jason. So listen to me. I'm going to be your weirdo here. Okay. I'm going to be the one who's going to tell you, number one, quit looking at what everybody else is doing. Quit looking at everybody else's likes. Quit telling yourself that you can't, okay? Because I did that. I did that 20 years ago and thought, what in the world could I share that anybody would want to know? Because I'm going to be honest. When I see somebody and all I see is product, 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 when I see their name coming up, I just keep scrolling because I know what's coming. It's just the product. That's all they got going on. So what do I want to stop for? All they want to do is sell me something. But you know what they didn't do? They didn't sell themselves first. So I thought, what could I share? What, could, what, what can I do? And I thought, well, you know what? Life hasn't been easy for me, but I'm still here. I'm still here. 
I believe, and even in the worst of moments, trying to find the positive in everything that you can. I love to cook. So I thought, I love to cook. It's my love language, you know? So I'm like, I could share that. I could share people some of my darkest valleys, but I could also share with them how I came up out of them, right? I know you're like, I don't want to share that. Let me tell you something. If you don't tell people who you really are, or what you've really come from, or where you really want to go, then what is there for them to follow? I tell you what I hate. I tell my team all the time, get off of this just friend stuff. Oh, I'm going to be private. It's just my family and my friends. Because if you think that your family and your friends are going to build your business, newsflash, I'm going to tell you it's not happening, Cupcake. It is not happening, okay? It's not you better get out there and make new friends. You better get out there. And, you know, we said, stop comparing yourself. Quit telling yourself you can't and quit telling yourself you're too old that you can't learn something new. Why are you here? And I know there's a lot of people in this industry and in this company here who've been in and they've been like, I don't need none of that. I'm going to tell you, if you stop saying that and you start incorporating this into what you're already doing, you are going to eventually see a surge of people who are going to say, wait a minute, who is this person? What do you mean they have this thriving business? What do you mean their life is happy? They look healthy. What, they're 60? They don't look 60. What's going on here? What are they doing? What are they a part of? That is what this is all about. Social media is about sharing. It's about being authentic. It's about stop getting up. I think the thing is when everybody gets up every time and every woman who's on there, her makeup is perfect. I immediately am like, I'm flipping you off because girl, that's not life. Let's be honest. That is not life. And do you know who I saw didn't do that? My girl, Alex. Okay. My girl, Alex, when she's having a bad day, I'm like, girl, I'm feeling you. Do you, did you hear what I said? I stopped on her feed and I say, I don't know what's going on in her life today, but I can see it. I can see it in her eyes and I'm feeling her. And immediately I want to stop. But you know what I noticed? She had this cup in her hand and I thought that's going to be a custom cocktail or something going on there. That girlfriend is getting through the day. And you know what? I just thought these are my people. These are my people. And in the midst of it, look, when I've had a bad day, when I've been on the treadmill and I didn't want to get on the treadmill, but how did I get on the treadmill? I got on the treadmill because you know that multivitamin I'm taking, the women's vitamin. Let me tell you, I started my day with that. I had three people who just said, what's that? I haven't seen that in Walmart. What's that? You know, where did you get that? I didn't say, oh, I'm with this company. I didn't do that. They saw that and said, if you get on the treadmill at 60, something going on here that I need to figure out how I can do that. This, this is an opportunity. Social media is an opportunity. And when Calvin said this was, this was the mind blown thing for me. I do this at 60. I'm so proud of myself. Every social media you're on, you need to share your content. You need to repeat it everywhere you go because somebody is not going to see what you just saw. Some people say, I hate Facebook, but you know what they love? They love Instagram because they can scroll, right? Some people say, I don't like Snapchat, but they own there because they keeping up with their kids. We know what that's all about, right? But they're on there and they're going to need it too. There is, for me, I want to make people laugh. I want to let people know that, Today might be a bad day, but I'm here to tell you, you're here and that's a win. To just wake up in this day and age, it is a win. Are you celebrating that? And you know what? If you got a cute dog or a cat and you want to bring them into it, you know what stops them? Oh, I had a boxer. And whenever I share a picture of the boxer I had, let me tell you, I get more comments and do you want to know what my biggest Instagram post was that I did this voiceover, no lie, that I was laying on the couch, all disgusted. And it simply said, before I decide to lose some weight, does anybody out there like me chubby? Can I tell you that that post alone went viral and I, we, we, I got 1,200, 1,500 new followers. 
they were going back looking, they were going back looking. But what happened was, you know what I also gained? Many customers who said, ooh, they went and they looked at my link tree. They wanted to know what I was doing. And I didn't know where these people were coming from. It had nothing to do with my products. It had to do with the fact that I was a girl who said, yeah, that's right. I could be a little chubby, but I want somebody out there to watch me here. I want somebody to say, you're my girl. And that's what they were saying. Girl, I got you. Girl, their hands are raising up and thumbs are going up. And I thought, this thing is really, really cool. Because you know what? Products deserve a place in your post. What they don't deserve is to be your only post. And if you say that it isn't working for you, I would ask you to take a really hard look at what you're doing. Because if you don't share a little of yourself, look, you don't have to tell them the names of your kids. You can call them kid one, kid two, whatever you want to do. You don't let them in to sit on your couch, but you open the door. Does that make sense? Open the door to who you are and say, I want to tell you some more. I want to tell you, look, if you want to tell them about a little Jesus, I'm going to tell you right now. There are people out there who want to hear about Jesus, okay? So if you're talking about it, they're going to say, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm going to do this. And then if you think you got a funny joke, tell the joke. Because then they go back and scroll over what you did three days ago. And guess what? Something is going to be product related. Something is something you're talking about that's going to say, I just changed my life with this product. And they're thinking, how did I miss that? Well, you were meant to miss it, but you were meant to see why you should follow me. And now you're not going to miss the next post. So sell yourself, give them a reason. Don't worry about, oh, 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 here's the big one. I made a post the other day, no lie, that said, um, many are watching me, but few are liking me. You know what that makes you? That makes you a fan. That's what it means. Do you think because they don't like you, they ain't seeing you? Look, there are people out there who are looking for you to fail. There are people out there who want to see you fall right on your face. But do you know what you showing up and being consistent on social media shows them? You might fall down, you might skim those knees, but you're going to get back up and here you are again. So guess what? This is where we're at. You can do this. Do not let age tell you, you cannot. You have to be consistent. You have to show them who you are. You have to invite them into your life and into your business when the time comes. Because guys, once they're hooked on you, they're going to want everything that you have to offer. You're going to have to slap them away and you're going to have to say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know we have a multivitamin, but have you tried, girl, have you tried our concealer? Come on. We've got so much out there. You can do this, but you've got to want to do this. And if you don't have the want to, which then, then, then has to be action behind it, it's never going to happen. But if you don't, you cannot say that social media does not work for you. It's, are you going to work social media? That's all I got, Jason. <laughs> Amen, <laughs> Sister Molly. <laughs> Molly, can you do me a favor? Yes. Um, I've seen some people asking for what your IG handle is. Can you share what your IG? So I will, can I you? will. See, if I had been set up like Calvin, I would handle, I'm like, you know, I'm like, what am I doing on here? I'm too new to be on here. I didn't do none of that. <laughs> So, um, yes, my Instagram is onward underscore with underscore Molly. So it's onward with Molly, but it's underscores in between. Um, we're going to have fun if you're going to follow me. And if you're having a bad day, you ain't going to stay there. Okay. So be ready because it can be annoying. Just saying. Awesome job, Molly. Awesome job. Incredible. So now our next next um speaker is um you know Mr. Dad Jokes. You know he's from you know Team Flushadelphia. You know you're gonna see you see him at every single event. You know he's you know he's hitting challenges. You know hitting new pen levels. He's just a real inspiration to to his team and to his organization. 
and um, you know, he's just he's making things happen. And he and and one thing about him is there's one thing when you say about you know, it's not only about getting the love and likes, but it's about sharing love and likes to other people. Cliff is always on liking his team's post, giving them comments, sharing their love, getting the adding credibility and building them up so that everybody who's looking at their page can feel it. So please help me welcome Cliff Hare as our next speaker. Tell us, Cliff, a little bit about what you do. Wow, wow. This is incredible. Thank you so much, Steve. Really appreciate it. Uh, Jason as well, man. Definitely appreciate the opportunity to be here and uh, absolutely incredible being on a call. Not only with Calvin, man, I get to see this, this gentleman very often and uh, absolutely love being in the field with him but as well as Molly and uh, Alex, a, a true, uh, true blessing for sure. But um, yeah, like, like uh, Steve was saying, you know, um, I am a father. So, you know, I'm actually from the Bucks County area of uh, Pennsylvania and I uh, grew up here and, you know, my background actually was originally in graphic design. You're right. So I love the creative side of things. Like it might show up in some of my posts and things like that, but um, it just did not pay the bills in terms of where I was looking to be. So um, you know, did that for a short period of time, went back into uh, the carpet cleaning business, which is what I've been doing for many years. Um, not the most glamorous, but paid the bills. And, uh, you know, a few years back was able to, you know, starting to grow a family and buy a house and, and all that good stuff. And, you know, money was still tight. And I was just always looking for other ways to make income. Right. And, you know, the business found me in a Panera Bread, right. Cold market. Someone just, you know, started up a conversation and um, here I am today, have not ever looked back. I'm super, super blessed for, you know, everything this company has been able to do and, and everyone I've been able to meet along the way. I've grown so much. Um, the funny thing is like, I always love sharing this because I did not have social media. I was very highly anti-social media. So literally the day I started my business, we had like a 30 day action plan. And at the top of the page in bold letters, it was, get Facebook. <laughs> and I was like, do I really need Facebook to run this? And they're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's just, it's always so surreal that like I get asked to kind of like do trainings on social media and, you know, literally I've only had it and started it because of this business. But guys, I'm definitely excited to, you know, share some info with you just in terms of, you know, just some of the things that I do, my experience um, using social media to run, you know, our unfranchised business. Um, but outside of that, you know, my name is Cliff Hare. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me at Cliff Notes 24 seven on Instagram. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to kind of go through some of this branding stuff that we hear about a lot and, um, just how to utilize your social media to grow your unfran unfranchised business. Um, it's a lot of fun, right? I, I just, I love, you know, Molly share. She just definitely has a lot of fun with it. I, I definitely, uh, can attest to that for sure. But, um, this has kind of been said a few times already, but, um, the profile is very important guys. Think of it like your business card, you know, it's like the first thing you see. So, um, one thing, a pet peeve of mine, like your profile must be public guys. You can't have a private profile. That's like, you know, having a business and keeping the doors locked, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to do that. So you want people to see you, you want people to be able to, to, to get to you and see what you have going on. You do need a clear photo of yourself, right? I think Jason said, not of your dog, right? You guys are not dogs. Um, you know, um, another one is, um, a picture with multiple people, right? I know we all love our family. Maybe we get a group shot of like three or four people, don't make that your profile picture, right? People want to go on. They want to know they're looking at you and who you are. Um, that's what's cool about Facebook is you can use the cover photo here to really um, highlight, you know, what these things are that that you care about, right? Whether it's your family, whether it's, um, you know, what you stand for, what you love, um, you know, so those are some areas that you can, you know, kind of have a little bit more of um, things outside of just yourself. Um, and in your bio, I think it's important to, you know, maybe sculpt your bio a little bit. I mean, for myself, um, you know, I put empowering overworked and underpaid parents by creating an online side hustle, right? We got the dad chronicles, health and wealth and, um, you know, dad humor, right? That's what I love. And I think it's always good to have sort of a tagline of, I know, I know Calvin mentioned it, but utilizing like kind of pinpointing three different things, um, that you stand for, Right. Um, so it could be your interests, your specialties, example being like, I help people 
create side income. I create, I help people create a, a better lifestyle, whatever that may be, figure that out for yourself. Um, and utilizing those pins is a great thing. So like on the top of my page, I have kind of the three areas that are important to me, right? Obviously one being my relationship with my children, me being a father. Um, the second would be team flush Adelphia, right? He, team pride all day. So always there. And then we got to, got to throw the dad humor in there, right? I have so much fun with it. Anyone who follows me knows that, um, it's just a fun thing to do. Right. And just be welcoming, be inviting and relatable guys, no negativity, no complaining. I, I, I don't know if people are into politics, but if you are just keep it out of your profile, right? It's not going to get you anywhere. Um, so just some just some tips in terms of the profile and how that goes. Um, but what's important, guys, is like what we're actually doing with social media. Right. Because I like to talk about prospecting versus marketing. Right. It's two separate things. It's not just one and the same. Right. I actually got this from a um, um, uh, Alex Hormozzi audio because he's talking about this and and what's so important and, and what the difference is, because marketing is a creative is about creating a positive perception of your business in the minds of your customers or potential business partners, right? While prospecting is the is about making direct contact with potential customers and building relationships with them, right? So both are important, both are highly necessary, um, but it's just important to know the difference because at the end of the day, guys, social media is a tool, right? Social market. Market America, running your Market American business is not social media, right? It's a tool that we use. It's very important to realize that your greatest ROI is going to be talking to people outside of Market America, right? Say less to more people, right? Uh, I just love that old phrase, like, you know, you want to talk to more people outside of Market America about Market America, right? So that's how we get it done. And it goes down in the DM, baby, you know? So um, just a system that I've, I've learned a while back that I like to follow um, cause Molly said it best where it's like, you don't want to be throwing just products, just business, just fall, you know, DM me about this, DM me about that. Um, so you want to kind of, I, I have this four, two, one system, right? You want to do four personal posts. So this can be family. This can be fitness, food, uh, Molly with her pets. You know, I like a lot of memes, uh, maybe inspiration stuff thrown in there. Um, and then two for business, right? So professional, um, things about my team, maybe peaking interest about what we do on a day to day basis. Um, and then one call to action. So this could be reference to, you know, personal development, how it applies um, or even just sort of some sort of ask. Right. It's OK to have that jab, 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 right hook. Right. When you're actually giving value, you're allowed to ask once in a while. So it's totally cool. Um, but one of the biggest things is just like be relatable. Right. I mean, add humor. Um, have that struggle, that vulnerability. It's, it's authenticity, right? It's just so important. And then overall, I think just kind of maintaining somewhat of a, a level of mystery. I try not to like post too much, like, you know, Market America, Market America, shop.com. Like I kind of just, I, I am a little cryptic here and there. Um, if you really dig, like you, you'll, you'll figure out what I got going on. But um, most of the time you want people to know you're doing something without you actually having to say it, right? Because it's going to, again, it's going to go down in, in the DMs. It's going to go down in the conversations and the relationships, right? So I just have some examples here of like kind of how my, um, you know, my timeline is, you know, a, 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 a post here, you know, just like um, some uh, inspiration and, and lifestyle type stuff and just a lot of stuff with the kids, stuff to make people laugh, stuff about the team. So I try to kind of spread it out a little bit, right? Um, and these are just some sample messages that I've gotten, you know, just to kind of let you know that, you know, when I am reaching out to people, you know, these are kind of some of the, the feedback that I'll get. Right. So like this one woman, you know, thanks for your message. There's a lot of weirdos out there. Um, so out of due diligence, I checked your profile to make sure you're real. Love the family pics or awesome humor comments, blah, blah, blah. So you know what I mean? Just kind of seeing that. It's really cool to see another woman. I don't normally accept people I don't know, but I like the positive messages on your page, right? Another one. So what do you do for work? I saw your post about the trips. It looks like you're doing really well. Made me curious, right? That's the point, right? Um, another guy, you know, wasn't willing to take a look, but he's like, let's stay in touch, man. I'm intrigued. I will want to know more at a later date. And he even said, build great rapport, right? So that's where it's at. It all happens in the DMs, guys. Let's not forget that. Um, and then, you know, just in terms of 
the lead nurturing versus lead generating, right? So again, like this is something that where uh, we want to co create constant exposure, right? I think Calvin mentioned it with the consistency, right? It's important to show up consistently um, and you want people to see you constantly. I, I love Calvin's example of like, yo, if you ain't going to see me on Instagram, you're going to see me somewhere else. Like I'm all over the place. I am blasted everywhere till you get sick of me. I don't care because we want everybody, right? We want everybody to see us and to see what we got going on so that we can help everyone out there, right? Um, one of the most important lines that I got here, it's like when you're reaching out to someone, they look at your page to see if they want to respond. Right. So always keep that in mind when you're reaching out to someone. If you haven't posted something in like a year, they're going to be like, who is this? Is this a bot account? Like, who, who you know, who, who's reaching out to me right now? I don't know. But if they saw you have five stories on your thing, you're posting, you know, consistently. We got Mark Bernacki here, always at the gym, consistently every day posting his product routine, posting him getting his workout in. Same thing with uh, Natalie Kent. Uh, this is an older screenshot, but, um, you know, obviously just showing product use, not being too in your face about it, but letting people know, like, this is what I do. This is what I'm doing. And and all of that really just leads to to a lot of trust being built in that relationship. Right. Um, some really cool ways to, you know, utilize tagging. Right. I thought this was important because this is a way to really, you know, warm up your market that either your team or prospects or even customers right? Tag them in stories, right? And and this is such a huge thing that I like to utilize because um, I got to shout out at my boy, Wallis. You know, him and I were at the Blueprint for Success Health Tour yesterday, right? It was such a blast. So I just, I, I posted this story just as an example, because there's different ways to tag. I mean, like I said, I, I'm sure we have all different types of um, you know, skill level sets here in terms of what how social media is. There's a couple ways to do it. You can actually just literally type out their name, tag them on the page. Or if you post a story, you can actually add a tag after, right? So you can just go, once the story is posted, you click the, the three buttons at the bottom. You can add mentions. You can do like up to 20, I believe. Um, and then you just add and boom, right? So this is definitely something that I like to do with, you know, prospects, customers that I have in the funnel. If I'm taking my products, boom, I'm going to tag them. And what I can even do is when you tag them, you can uh, write out their name. You can just throw it off to the side of page. It still tags them, but you don't see their name, right? And why this is important too is because my idea is like, all right, first of all, it's keeping them alive. It's keeping them warm in the funnel. But also they get that that notification that, hey, would you like to repost this story, right? And then boom, they post it to their story. And then what do I have? I have a whole nother names list within their market. That's like, huh, who's this Cliff Notes guy? Let me click on the story and see what has going on, right? So just another way to kind of build it up even more. Um, and just always shout out the team. This is a pick from Miami, right? From, uh, you know, uh, leadership school, absolutely incredible. So tagged a bunch of people there and just, you know, letting people know. I mean, I, I love the post itself. It's like, no matter how educated, talented, rich, or cool you believe you are, how you treat people ultimately tells all, right? So it's just like letting people know that that's how I think about them. That's how I want, you know, people to, to, to feel when they check my page. And these are the people that I'm dealing with and the people that I want to be surrounded with, right? So um, I know, you know, in the email, it said something about scripts. I don't go super crazy with like, you know, recommending scripts because I think everybody has their own style, but this is just something that... I like to use when someone likes a when someone likes anything, right? Someone likes a reel, a post, a story, a live. Um, hey, thank you so much for the love on my previous reel. Means a lot. I know we don't know each other, so I hope you don't mind me reaching out. How's everything going today? Right? Super simple. It could literally be about anything. Um, if it's business or product related, I do pretty much the same thing. Only at the end, I say, just curious, were you interested in learning more about what I do? Or were you just being supportive, right? Either way, it's cool. Either way, they're, you know, they're in my messages and I'm going to keep building the relationship, right? But just some ways um, to utilize those scripts. Um, one curiosity post that I did recently um, had, a, had a good amount of success with. This was on Facebook. I also posted um, a few stories to Instagram and Facebook. Um, but this was all around the GoTrim product, right? So launching a, a new fat burning product next week looking for seven product testers who want to try it for 30 days to cut in time for summer, 
comment or DM, right? And then people were commenting, me, include me, I'm interested. I uh, was able to create six new customers and a few of them as well are on uh, new products, right? So, you know, just getting in DMs, sending, you know, sending um, the message, sending the link and um, just following up and closing the sale, you know, and that's where, where it comes down. So guys, just have fun with it, you know? I mean, just, hey, just, it, it's gonna maybe be sloppy at first. You'll figure it out along the way, but just have positive vibes, no no negativity and and that'll attract similar people, right? So um, hope everyone was able to get some value from that. And um, yeah, definitely, again, just super uh, grateful to be here. Not just some value, Cliff, you brought it, you brought it all i mean incredible tips from everyone you can see it in the chat everyone even on facebook everyone's loving all of this um and i see people writing down notes even here you know our panelists are taking down down notes i'm learning a ton i know all of you are as well so um we're gonna round it up with our last panelist um she is a, a superstar right social media superstar a global appeal here she's building uh internationally has a great flavor um she has a lot of fun molly referenced alexandra earlier um, but I, I want Alex to share with you her unique approach, but how she transitions her social media to create a tremendous amount of retail. So she's killing it with retail sales and business building, leveraging social media. So, you know, please help me welcome Alexandra Cummings. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for inviting me. But listen, social media is all about fun. And like Molly said, you guys have to... I'm not saying you have to put everything on social media, but you have to know just a little bit, just, you know, even like Molly, you said about Boxer, I have Boxer too. So one day you're going to see my Boxer on the page because I'm so proud of my, you know, with my dogs. But you know what? It's nice. People see what you have. Like I have dogs, but guess what I can approach in the future? A product because we have a pet line. Then it's about me. I'm always, you will see me, even if it's in the morning, you know, it doesn't matter. You're not going to see me without makeup, guys. But I'm a walking advertisement. Wherever I go, people ask me if I have even light lipstick, they think I'm sick. And I'm like, oh boy, this is me, you know, red, bold, you know, pink. Um, but they always going to ask me, what is it? If yesterday there was a situation when I posted picture and I was driving to, um, you know, I'm driving and one of my customers who never even liked my post, she never even comment but she called me she said you know what i'm watching you for years i couldn't do what you do i couldn't be speaking she's a real estate agent and she said i couldn't do what you do talk in front of the people but guess what through conversation suddenly i sold her product for 150 dollars over the phone because she was watching me because she see for years guys that, that i'm talking about nutrition about makeup and but I am consistent. And even I know Calvin, every one of you, right? Clev and Molly, you said being consistent. And it's true. Every day I'm posting what? So think about it. I'm getting up at 6 a.m. And I'm thinking already, if I'm gonna be drinking while I'm drinking my coffee, what I'm gonna post today? Maybe something even for myself. I need motivational quote. How many times people text me in private, Alex, I needed this today. So it's sometimes it's not about you, but it's how can you change someone's life? Uh, so even today, guys, I posted, you know, my dream is always to meet JLo, right? This is my my idol since when I was little. And guess what? My friends from Poland called me yesterday. It's like, listen, we are coming because it's a JLo. I got a ticket. I'm like, you kidding me? I'm planning too. Because I post today that I got my ticket for JLo. Ten more people bought it as well. And we are going as a group. So I purchased ticket for all of us, guys, just because this one post. How about sometimes you're going to see I'm kind of between product, my new hairstyle. So I'm posting. What do you think about this? Because it's engagement, guys. People posting, oh, this is nice. This is cute. This is it, you know. So it's a product. It's about you, about travel. Another example. And other my friends, because I went a couple of days ago to Miami to see my friends and I talked some restaurant. Uh, and yesterday my friends, hey, listen, I'm coming to Miami. I need a hotel. Can you can you help me? I'm like, oh my gosh, Marek, I am a consultant because you don't know what I do because you are in Poland, but I'll be happy to book your hotel for your family. So especially pick what you like, text me, maybe I can get a coupon for you. Guess what? I booked for him to go tell today, guys. But you see, if you don't show your little bit live, people have no clue what are you doing. If you're attending the training, post that you're educating yourself, right? But I'm going to share, guys, screen with you. 
And by the way, someone even like Moy said, it's about what? Look at, look at, have you seen how the energy positive? This is what we need, this guys, because people that don't want to hang out with, you know, drama, we need smile. But I'm going to share something with you. So guess what? People, they are really sick of fake people. I'm not even using filters on Facebook, guys, On uh, even on my Instagram. But you have to be really authentic, okay? You have to have credibility. You know, like our company created this video, right? We have the credibility. We have a better business bureau. It's about us as well. But it will gonna take some time. It's not about one day that you post today and then two, three weeks later again post. No, you have to be consistent, especially on Instagram. Do you know story you have to do three times a day? Three to four times a day, quick story. But you see, even like myself, I have a VIP group for my customer that I'm adding them. Why? Because I'm creating lives, I'm sharing tips, I'm building the relationship. But you know what's happening? You're going to create curiosity, but then people are going to start asking stuff. Now it's the question. Now you go, like Jason, you said you're going on private, right? Now you're starting with conversation. Then suddenly you're going to have, oh my gosh, me too, right? You're going to have some stuff. Like Molly, you said about boxer. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a boxer too. So, and we have, we have a conversation. How about travel? You see me. People, they're laughing. You travel all the time. Yes, but you know what? You can do too, but I can help you. Where do you want to go? I can connect you with people. What do you need? A hotel? Do you need guys? Because I travel. I dine out as well. And then guess what? Trust. You guys, you have to, you have to build trust. Without trust, there is no sale. Do you imagine today I posted on Facebook? I lost 27 pounds already. And I said, because of my think, because of my thing, but because of my customer watching me, I didn't say it's a go trim, but my customer texts me, Alex, what is this thing thing? And I'm like, this is what it helps me. On the same time, she purchased digestive enzyme because I recommended her. But you see people, it's not always that people are gonna like and comment. They will be watching you sometimes for years. And this is guys, how you're gonna have a sale. And then, look, I don't believe, and I think even someone said, do you know where people, uh, I think, Jason, you said this um, last time, people, you can have a post with, you know, you can be in the toilet because you can create a post within one minute. And it's so true, guys. Everyone, and I don't believe that we don't have a time. This one you can create within 30 seconds. You go on Instagram, you create short story, you're creating photo, you click on this, you can edit your link, right? You can have some Jeep, funny things, music, location. And guess what? Do this three times a day. It's only three minutes a day, three minutes a day for three posts. So every day, something about your lifestyle. I think Cliff even said, you know, he's a father. But it's not about just product, 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 live, video, beach. I had yesterday picnic with my friends. Guess what I did? Eight second video with music. That's it. So you want to mix your lifestyle with our business. And then what it's nice, today I have a new customers, a lot of new customers, and I'm so happy. Nice sale. And you know why? Because I am on some groups and someone asked, I need to lose 10 pounds by this and this day. So guess what's happening with a lot of companies? Try this, try this, try this, try this. But Alex said, I educate. I'm like, listen, I already lost 27 pounds. The only things what I did, listen, I'm not a person who's counting points. It has to be something easy, difficult, uh, easy. And I said, look, and I give her some tips, but as well, I need those products. Why? Digestive enzyme because break down some food, you know, shortly, shortly, not spamming, but just explanation. I said, you know what, Jason, this is a list which I created for you, list manager. I added those products which I am on for many months and years. This is what it helps me, especially if you have a stress, right? So why don't, this is a list. Why don't you uh, check it out? And if you have any question, let me know. Suddenly order $204. Boom, new customer from New York, 204, few products. I'm like, I like it. But you see, this is, if you want to screenshot this, this is what I'm using with every one of my customer. Molly, how can I help you? You see, I'm using voicemail on Messenger on Facebook, always, because people need to hear your voice. How can I help you? 
Do you want to slow down your aging process? You know, I'm laughing always on Facebook. I'm like, hey, I'm not even using Botox. This is all our product. How can I help you? You know, I will recommend you. And then, you know, I'm talking about some products. And I said, you know what, Jason? Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a special list for you. I'm going to text you, right? Please check those products and I will get back to you later today or tomorrow. And then guess what? Hey, did you, this is the follow-up. Did you have a chance to look at this product? Which product would you like me to order for you? And then I'll be like, hey, I am gonna, what I'm going to need, I'm going to need your name, your address, and email. And how would you like to pay? Zell, Venmo, Revolut, Square, I'm prepared for everything. I have A, B, C, and D option. And guess what? This is how I close because we have a drop shipping. We can, I'm registering my customer in the back office. I collect the money and I ship. And before when I ship product, I always ask for Another, which one would you like? Because I can edit some samples. So you see, every time I'm using this with my customer, but you see how you want to create, we have amazing tools. For me, one of the best tools, it's a list manager, guys. Instead of link, 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 it's going to take some time, guys. You go on your shop.com site and you're going to log in and then you just click list manager. And then it's for who I'm always customizing. This is for Molly, or this is for Clef, or this is maybe for weight loss. So what is it? And I'm adding a few products, and then I'm just sending one link to my customer, like today on this list. Guess what? Do you know that the person who posted didn't buy, but for customer purchase, which I didn't know because people, they were reading what I, what I posted, because there was a, just one link for all this product. But I want to play something for you so you can see how to create this. And by the way, when you create this list manager, do you see this link? You just click copy and paste, which you can as well. We talk about store. Did you know you can create a store and you can add a link? This link you can edit as well. There's just one link. So, hold on. So you see, you go here to your shop.com. You click my account list manager. Oops, hold on. I thought I can play this, but I cannot play this. Um, Alex, we can also do another session where we go yes. over some of these other tools. Okay, so that's so it's, it for sure. Yeah, that's so great. it's okay. I don't know. But guys, listen, you have to start doing this. And then another tip what I'm doing, I have my Facebook page and Facebook group for my customer. So any new customer who purchased product, I'm adding them. But guess what? It's nice. I'm posting everyday post, a tip of the day. I do lives demo about digestive enzyme or even how I'm creating shakes because you know like even Cliff said people need to know you what do you do in the basic you know and it's only one minute a day so shake a uh, product testimonials right you talk with someone else post pictures and if and what it's nice with the leveraging the site if someone asks me, Alex, I'm looking for something for wrinkles. Alex, I'm looking, I'm like, hold on. I already did my video. I'm just tagging them. So I don't need to spend another hour. The video is done. Like our company did it for us. But guess what? I have this in Polish. I have in English. And I just watch this, watch this, watch this. Or I'm tagging them to this video, guys. So this is so cool. And like I said, you have to have, I highly recommend to have a, a page for customers. And what it's nice, if Molly, we are working together, and I will say, listen, if you already have your customer, you can add them to this group because I know who added them. So it's a nice leverage. So you using me because I did a video, you inviting your customer, especially if you are new. And I'm like, hey, how many times my team said, oh, I just got a sale. I just got a sale. <laughs> I'm like, you're welcome. But this is what it's about. So don't be afraid of camera. Show some pictures, show, show, you know, but every day you have to do this every single day, you know, private quotes, Instagram, Facebook, your little bit lifestyle. Um, but like I said, it's all about fun, right? So people need to know you. Um, but I think that's it. I think it's a few tips from me being authentic. 
but do every single day. Thank you. So, so good. So good. Uh, well, everybody, let's show our panel some love by showing some great emojis. Let's get some fire, some hearts, et cetera. Let's show everybody how great this was tonight. I mean, you know, um, you know, Calvin, Alex, Cliff, Molly, you guys were amazing. You know, I appreciate you guys so much for being on this, you know, et cetera. You know, I'm going to wrap this up. I, you know, you know, I had a close, but the closures went out the window because you guys said it all, you know, the bottom line is you just have to be yourself. You just have to do it. And that's the only way to do it. You have to practice what you preach, get on social media, do get, get behind the camera, start posting the content. People are looking for looking at you, whether you, whether you think, whether you see it or not, and just start doing the small things each and every day that helps you build your unfranchised business to amazing levels. Everybody, family, Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next Monday with uh, the Market America social media team talking about content creation. Panelists, thank you so much for being the all-stars that we knew you were. And everybody, God bless. Thank you. See you next Monday. Great. Thank Thanks, you, everyone. Guys. Thanks, guys. You're phenomenal. Everyone. Have a great night, everyone. Good night. Good night.